I'm gonna show you how to look prettier with makeup in three easy steps. Step number one, grab your favorite lightweight tinted moisturizer. My favorite way to apply this is my fingers, and I just go around my skin and just smooth it out, and then anywhere where I want extra coverage, I tap it in. Step number two, grab your favorite bronzer and a big fluffy brush. Tap this on anywhere where the sun would naturally hit your face, so I like to apply it right on my cheeks. You can be kind of messy with this, it's nice and sheer. It adds a little bit of shimmer to it, so pretty. Don't forget right on the forehead and then on the tip of the nose. Then take your favorite cream shimmer shadow and you're going to pop this right into the inner corners. This gives a really, really, really pretty dewy glowy look to the whole face, but it especially highlights the eyes. And then I'm just finishing off this look with mascara. That's how to look prettier with makeup in three easy steps. Click like and follow for more. is literally around the corner so i'm going to show you how you can glow up in one day this literally makes my confidence go through the roof and you will get so many compliments the ashley graham and sanctuary pay tan it makes my body look flawless all you need to do is shake the bottle and then spray and then you apply it in long strokes this is before and this is immediately after i've literally just applied it and it's already dry i even use this on my face when i don't want to wear makeup because it has hyaluronic acid which is perfect for healthy skin this is before you can literally see my strawberry legs you can see bruises you can see scars and this is after this is perfect for when you don't want to wear any makeup but you still want to look like a bad bitch Here is a super classic three-step eyeshadow look. You need a light, shimmery or not, a medium, matte, and a dark matte. First, take the medium matte shade and a big fluffy brush and run this back and forth in the crease of your eye. If you have hooded eyes, just do this with your eyes open. Build that up until you're happy with it and you could even stop here for a simple defined eye look. Or if you want, take the light shade, shimmery or not, and put this all over your eyelid to add a little bit more brightness. I like to take it into the inner corner too. Again, you could stop after the second step if you wanted. For the most intensity, take the dark shade and create a little V on the outer corner of your eye, how I'm doing here. You'll need a little bit more of a precise brush for this and then fill that V in. When you've built it up to where you're happy with it, go back with your first fluffy brush and just run over this so there's no harsh lines. Now you finish off the look with mascara, eyeliner, lashes, whatever you want. The great thing about this is you can switch out the colors for whatever you want as long as you have a light, medium, and a dark. Do you have chicken skin, aka keratosis pilaris? Wait, that's my new wrap name. A gentle daily exfoliation is recommended. It helps get rid of dead skin and improve the overall appearance. Then I use this oil to help with uneven skin and texture. And this mask, which contains retinol, which helps increase cell turnover and reveal new skin. Do not skip the moisturizer. So smooth. shaved your pubic hair and now you've got an ingrown hair didn't you all right i'll help you why do we shave the vulva why to be serious an ingrown hair is when you shave and the hair gets stuck under the skin we call it a razor bump it can be really painful really uncomfortable it can look like a little pimple and sometimes they get infected the good news most of them go away on their own Yay! you can use a warm washcloth and that heat can help the hair eventually come to the surface don't you try to pull that hair out unless it's right at the surface. But don't go in there digging. You're gonna break the skin. Infection, bad. And if you do do that, clean, sterilized tweezers. Promise me. 
still don't go away, then you might need to go see your doctor or if you're worried that it looks like it's infected. They can try to remove that ingrown hair in a sterile way or give you some medication. And that's all I oh, have to say about ingrown hairs. I added some yellow. I had lashes and this is I want to try that. I got my tissue and my rainbow palette. Let's go. I already primed my eyes so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so she said crush and crumple the tissue. Noise. I'm going to dip into the blue. This is how it looks like. Okay, let's go. Psych. I'm scared. Okay, well, here we go. Don't laugh, don't laugh. I'm doing this side too. <laughs> Go in with some purple. This is a major trust the process kind of thing. So we're gonna stamp in red, orange, and yellow. Ooh, honestly, I'm obsessed. Let me put some lashes on. Here's the final look. Wow. This trick definitely works, and I'll do it again. 